Hello, Cowan Heights. Your weather sucks. This is absolutely horse manure. At least the night looks a lot nicer. No, no clouds. Bedtime snack. There they are. Here we have Zopaclone and antidepressants. Zopaclone tastes horrible when it starts to melt in your mouth or dissolve. Oh shit. <laughs> forgot to put water in my glass. Man, that's horrible. Good morning, Cowan Heights. Blue skies, yes. Really hope this means that I'm gonna get in the mood to go for a motorcycle ride. That's my hope for today. We'll see how it goes. So here I am sitting here, just trying to figure out where I'm gonna go for a ride on my motorcycle. And as I'm thinking about it, the anxiety starts going up and up. My heart rate starts to feel weird. I get weird sensations throughout my body. Like my bowels start turning around on me. My palms are actually sweaty right now. And that's all just from thinking about going for a motorcycle ride. Something that is enjoyable and refreshing and can easily clear the head quite a bit, but something like that can cause me to uh, to feel like I just want to shut down. I, and it's hard, so, but I am going to force myself out despite all this. I'm going to do some deep breathing exercises here to clear away some of that anxiety feeling. And I'm just going to barge out the door and go. I think. Time to get ready. Shut my garage door. All right, I made it. Got to my bike, so let's see where I end up because I have no idea where I'm interested in going right now. I'm just happy to be out. That's why I usually avoid that place for going for my walks. Although the place is big enough that you can go back behind it in the uh, trails on the other side of the river to avoid the crowds, but you got to go through the crowds to get to the river.
All right, I think I know where I'm going. I am going to head it around Petty Harbor and then out to Cape Spear for a little scoot, I think. It's only plus three, so it's a little chilly. Watch out for some of that salt on the roads. For the most part, it's not too bad. Usually during riding season, I like to take these little twisties a little quicker, but uh, not right now, not after all the snow and the salt and that's still on the road. And most likely there's probably gravel probably wash down from people's driveways yet we'll see actually you know what I could have went faster but I never oh well this is nice it's nice to get out lots of sights it's a nice break from my uh, recliner that's for sure <clears throat> even though I'm still having a hard time focusing on everything around me. I'm my mind is still back home. But if I ride long enough, I'll start to forget it. If you look way up top of that hill, you got the the Atlantic zip lines. We did that a few years ago. It was fun going across those uh, <laughs> sorry I know the wind noise is probably bad right now for those who aren't familiar with where I am right now I am entering Petty Harbor I can imagine the roads are going to be rough here. <laughs> Welcome to Petty Harbor and Maddox Cove. Everybody forgets Maddox Cove. Where are you going? Petty Harbor. Beautiful scenic Petty Harbor. Kind of looks nice with snow on it. To my right there, I've been out there a few times already. I'm not going out this trip, but it's uh, it's a nice nice little ride out that way. To my left here is Chafe's Landing, well known for their fish and chips. Up here on my right, you'll see uh, Tinkers, famous for their crazy ass ice cream. Look at all those boats. Isn't that something? I love living near the ocean. I wish I was closer even though I'm just a 10 minute drive away. I like to be able to look at my window and see this. 
instead of having to drive somewhere to go see it. Ocean Quest Tours. a swell out there today. Let's look at that. Trying to keep my head, uh, <laughs> my eyes are looking left as my head is looking right so I can see where I'm going. <laughs> and this right here is Maddox Cove, the forgotten half of the Petty Harbor portion. It's always a nice little loop just to dust the cobwebs off. Little place to go and have a coffee right there. Enjoy the view. Land for sale. Hmm, I wonder how much. Probably more than I can afford. If you look over there to the right, that's part of the East Coast Trail. That takes you to, uh, to uh, Cape Spear. I'm not sure what this guy is doing. He's got his left signal light on. You got the wrong signal light on. <laughs> Guess she doesn't know left from right. Yeah, you see it all driving around St. John's. All right, next stop is going to be Cape Spear. I think I need to clean my windshield. <laughs> Look at those cliffs way off in the distance there, right? You got Signal Hill on the left out there. I think then you got out around uh, Tor Bay, Middle Cove Beach, those areas. So this little part of the tour is Blackhead. It's a small little community. It's the last community you come to before you hit Cave Spear. There's the signs for it. If you go down that road, there's a parking spot there where you can access the East Coast Trail. And that takes you either that takes you either off out to I forget what the name of the place is now. It's just down below Signal Hill, across from it. Lost. My mind is gone. I can't remember the name of it. I'll think about it eventually. But then you take the other side and it'll take you up to, uh, to Cape Spear. And here we are. Cape Spear. Temperature dropped, not surprised, I can tell, because my knees are cold and my toes are cold. Dropped down to two degrees, so not freezing. <laughs> Me and my wife were out here a couple of weeks ago and did a little walk around. way up top where you see that building and that mast next to it. That's where the trail is that takes you over to Maddox Cove.
Wow. The waves are pretty heavy there today. I might have to make a stop. I was going to boil up a coffee, but it's too cold for coffee out here. And I'm not really dressed for it. Just got my jeans on. <laughs> Definitely a lot of wind out here. A few people visiting. Even though it's cold, the snow is still melting. Way over there you can see Signal Hill. I'm going to stop in this parking spot down below here for a few minutes. Look at that. How's that for a view? I don't even have to get off my motorcycle to go down and look, really. Yeah, I gotta get off. There's no way I can come this far and look at that and not get closer to get some shots. Sometimes I'm not the brightest because I was trying to find a toque. I didn't have a toque and my head was freezing. Didn't realize I had two hoods. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's make our way down to the shore. Look at that. Isn't this beautiful? The last time I was here and the water was like this, there was a seal caught out inside all that swell. He couldn't get in out of it. Watch him for a while. Such a rugged coastline.
want to stop filming. I know one thing, my head might not be cold, but my hands are frozen. <laughs> I think it's time to move back. That was good. That was invigorating, and that's what I needed. I needed something to get me off my recliner and get out and appreciate the rawness of nature, especially here in Newfoundland. Can't stop looking. Anyway, time to get back on that motorcycle and warm up. Or try. The reason I say that is because I'm spoiled. I got heated grips <laughs> and a heated seat which actually helps quite a bit on days like this. Nobody took her, that's good. There we go. It was a decent, uh, a decent little stop. More people coming to catch photos. Thank God for reverse. And my hands are warm again, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Spoiled, I know. Well, there you go. That was Cave Spear. Now we're heading back to reality. Oh, Cave Spear. Sorry. Signal Hill. That's what I'm thinking about. All those coastline in front of me, that's the trail. That's the trail that leads from uh, Blackhead. And I now remember the name of that place so across from Signal Hill I was trying to think about. It's Fort Amherst. Welcome to Shea Heights. Jay Heights has a little bit of a reputation. <laughs> I remember many, many years ago, must have been a good 30 years or more, I used to work in a bar out in Marystown. And uh, anytime we'd have sports tournaments, usually softball, teams from all over the province would come to Marystown to play. And we'd always get these warnings when Shea Heights are out because we know how rowdy they get into bars, right? <laughs> well, it was pretty good. We never, never had no issue. No fights, no scraps. It was all just hype. I'm not saying they're not a tough bunch. I'm just saying that the weekend that they're out there, they behave themselves. He was going. He was looking left and right and left and right, ready to just to shoot on through, but he seen me in the last second. You need eyes all on, you need your head on a swivel in this province riding. Good old St. John's. Take my time around this turn because I don't know if there's any loose gravel yet. Since this is my first time around here, it's pretty good. 
You can hear the flapping of those pigeons in my ears as they're going by. Salt patches there, gravel there. Gonna watch all that salt. You can see it in patches there in the road, right? Be long now, and all those trees will be filled in. It's a nice place to ride in the fall as the leaves are starting to change colors. It's a nice looking graveyard. All right, it's pretty bad when I'm complimenting. Uh, cemeteries. Corpus Christi. Looks like Bowering Park is fairly busy on this end too. A couple spaces left. Salt there. And I'm home. Not as windy or cold here. Well, that wasn't a bad ride. I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I was able to find the 
motivation to get out and actually go. And I even took the dog for a walk when I got back. So uh, I got my fresh hair for today. Now I'm gonna go in and meditate and probably read for a while. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little trip at around some of the nice scenic locations here around the Avalon. And see you in the next video.